Okay, now we're ready to select the tool paths for the second side. But look at what we have here, is we still have all the old operations from side one. We could go through and just delete all of them and start from scratch. However, since they're very similar, um, maybe it would be easier if we just kind of changed the geometry but kept all the same parameters as before. And so that's what I'm going to do here. Notice that this first operation was the drill. If you remember, we drilled the eight points. You can see here, these were the eight points from side one. And so what we can do is we can click here on the geometry and delete these points. It's kind of not very intuitive on how to delete them. You just kind of right click and hit delete. And you think it would just delete that point. What it does is it says it brings up this and what basically you need to do is select points to delete. Now you don't need to find them specifically, but if you just kind of click over here, each time I click, um, one is deleted. So I click three times, now I'm down to five points. So I keep going, and the points are all gone. So I can hit check. Now those points are gone, so there are zero points there. And then if you remember, we had the contour for the slots and all of that. Um, I'm going to delete that one. No, yeah, we'll delete that one. So I'm going to select it and just hit delete. And then we have the contour for the bearing holes. Um, let's, let's use that as the same template for the contours here. Okay, and then we have the contour for the cutoff. We'll keep that as well. But we need to delete the geometry. Here, deleting the geometry for chains is a little bit different. You can just right-click and hit delete for every single one, delete chain, and it just deletes it. If you want to do multiple chains, you hit select the first one, hit shift, select the last one, and notice they're all highlighted here. And then if I continue to hold shift, right-click, and hit delete chain, it deletes them all. Well, I guess it didn't quite get them all. So there we go. So now they're all gone. And... Finally, I want to delete this last cutoff chain as well because it was different. Um, we just want to select the right part. And so basically, we have all of the parameters that we had before, but now we have um, a, a fresh place to choose from, fresh place to start without having to um, redo all of the parameters. So all I really need to do now is go to geometry. It's, a, it's complaining because there's no points to find. That's okay. Um, but then you can get into this dialog and just go right-click, add points. And again, we're going to go mask on arc. I'm going to select an arc. And then I'm going to get a front view like this because now it's saying select all the arcs. I need to get everything fit in. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just select the top region here because I don't want to select all of the holes in the piece. I just want to select the top holes here. And then I hit enter, and it says 11 points, and that makes sense. Go back to the isometric view. You can see the points, how they're chosen. If we want to resort them, we can hit sort. You could say, oh, well, it's sorted just like we did before. Um, it's um, all ready to go. And so we can check that really quick um, by going, let's regenerate everything. Let's hit play, and there we go. So we're drilling the holes as we did before. So now that we have those holes drilled, now we can go to geometry and do our contours. Now I want to show you a little bit different way to do contours. So we're going to go add chain. So I just right clicked in here. I go add chain. It brings up this. What I'm going to do is instead of selecting each little sub contour, I'm going to hit C plane for construction plane. And instead of selecting just an actual edge, I'm going to select an area. So if I go here, it's going to, now if I just select in this region, it's going to get that whole loop. I'm going to get this loop, and this loop, and this loop, and this loop, and hit check mark. Um, and it's supposed to go in the same direction every single time, and it looks like it has. And if it didn't, we can change that direction later. So we'll hit check mark there. 